I get a lot of questions about the subject of charisma. How do you stand out in a room? How do you be more smooth? How do you be more like James Bond, someone that's effortless, right? And if you ask people about this, usually you get some variant of, you know, just be you, just be natural, be yourself. And that is the absolute worst advice anyone could ever give you about this subject. Don't be you. If being you was enough, then you'd already be James Bond. You're not. That's why you're asking the question. So let's discuss charisma as a concept. Let's deconstruct this thing and see where we can get at. My first mentor, when I got into sales, I was like 19 or 20, and he was in his 60s. And he was like a grizzled veteran. He made it. And his name was Theo, by the way. And he told me, one of the first things that he told me that I vividly remember was him telling me, Arno, sales is show business. There's a way you open the presentation. There's a way you greet people. There's a way you say certain things. There's a way you end the presentation. There's a way you close the deal. I remember him walking me through the way to close a deal. And there was a, were a couple different ways, but the way I ended up using most was basically saying, uh, okay, so what's your name? And then I wrote out the name. Okay, if I can get your, your signature here, then we can get started. And I would take the pen and I would hand it to them so that they would take it. And then I would slide the paper to their side of the table. And I would just wait. And this was like my most advanced close. And it worked a lot of times. Like the vast majority of the time, people would just sign it and, you know, complete the ritual. What I'm trying to say is that charisma in itself isn't real. Just like money, just like a lot of things, it's, it's a construct. It's something that we describe, but it, that isn't really real as a, as a thing. Charisma is what happens when you're prepared for situations and when you're comfortable in your own skin. So in a sense, yes, you should be you, but you should be the you that you prepared for. Let me give you an example. If you look at Obama, Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, you look at a speech. The guy has a certain rhythm in his speech. He chooses his words very carefully. Well, he doesn't choose them. They were written for him. He reads them in a very statesmanlike way. He doesn't stand like this. He stands like this. And he doesn't speak them like softly or timidly. He speaks them with conviction. And he projects his words. And that gives you the illusion of charisma. Also, he's the president of the United States. People come watch him. Pe crowds gather. Like, the, the guy was practically magical. Like, the, the way the press propped him up, right? Now, compare that to some of the outings where he wasn't as prepared. He wasn't as scripted. He wasn't as smooth. Then you'll see a very different guy. There's a very famous clip of him saying... If, 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 and he, he can't, you know, gather his words and he's, he has, he's having trouble speaking, not as much trouble as Joe, of course, but you know, he has, he's having trouble gathering his thoughts at that moment. And very briefly, you see the real guy, you see the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. Well, usually we see the Wizard of Oz that is presented to us. Charisma is basically the Wizard of Oz. This, that story is about the, the whole charisma thing. It's a facade. And not in a bad way, because usually when you say it's a facade, you say it's fake. We, everyone in every social gathering, in every social meeting, on a date, on a sales call, whatever, it, it's always fake to an extent. Like, you're not going to fart in a sales call, and you're not going to burp when you're on a date, I hope. Uh, but if you're by yourself, maybe you, you know, I, I assume you do those things. We, we're all human. You're, you're going to show your best side. Charisma is very much about that. So if you want to get better at it, one of the, I'll give you two good ways. One of the ways is to see if you can somehow either closely monitor yourself while you're doing like social stuff, like meetings or whatever, maybe... You can, you can have a videotape of yourself doing it. 
Maybe you can look at yourself in the mirror. Maybe you, re you can record yourself doing it. I did this extensively, recording myself on my voice. I, I like my own voice now because I worked on it and I worked on the presentation of it. But the first time that I heard it, I was just as mortified as everyone else because I heard how choppy and non-professional and non-smooth it was. I worked on that. So the first thing that you want to do is see like, where do I lack in terms of social interaction? Where do I fall short? What do I do wrong? So that is one thing. If, if you can have any way to monitor it, and like I said, like video, audio, and if not, just a mirror and you yourself shaking hands, introducing yourself, telling your origin story, just giving people, just practicing your presentation to other people. That will drastically improve your charisma score. Let's say like that. And also look at examples of people that are charismatic, that are smooth, effortless, that weave through a life without any friction, that ace a presentation or an interview. And just don't just look at like the, the picture that is presented to you, but look at the what they're actually doing. What are they saying? How are they saying it? Why are they choosing their words? Is there an um or an ah? Is this a scripted thing? Do Have they practiced this before? Can you tell like which things loop between one interview and the next? And this will give you a very clear picture of why certain people are much more charismatic than others. You'll see that a lot of things loop. So a lot of things repeat because it's practiced. It's something that's effortless because it's practiced over and over and over. It's like Roger Federer playing ten tennis. Like it's, he doesn't have to consciously think of his backswing. He just does it and it looks amazing. It looks smooth. So notice where you fall short. And if you had a social outing and you get the feeling that you haven't really been able to capitalize on it, or there were like lulls in the conversation, or there were awkward silences, or you had the impression that someone was uncomfortable while you were talking to them, make sure that you make a note of it, like a mental note, and then write it down afterwards and see what you can do about it. You can even ask someone that is very smooth, very natural, and say, hey, this and this and this happened, what should I do next time? But it's, it's a matter of practice. Sales and charisma and networking and seduction, it's all show business. Remember, and in show business, you practice, you rehearse again and again and again until it's smooth. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell. It helps with the algorithm. And check out these other two videos that I made for you. You're going to love them.